I want to share with you some results from a very important series of studies. In 2003, the National Institutes of Health funded the Physicians Committee to study head-to-head -head a low-fat vegan diet and a more conventional diabetes diet for people who had type 2 diabetes. Up until that point, people were saying, okay, well, if you have diabetes, that means there's too much sugar in the blood, don't eat sugar, don't eat too much carbohydrate that turns to sugar. If you need to lose weight, cut calories. That was the conventional diet. We wanted to see if a completely plant-based diet, a vegan diet, with no limit on calories, no limit on carbohydrates, would be as effective or maybe even more effective than the conventional diet. Well, in 2006, we published the first results, and what we found was astounding. When you looked at people who made no changes in their medications at all, the people who went on the conventional diet, they did well. The measure we use is called A1C. Hemoglobin A1C is a measure of your blood glucose control for about a three-month period. And for them, it improved by about 0.4 absolute percentage points. That's good. But for the vegan group, it dropped three times more by 1.2 absolute percentage points. That's like a really great pharmaceutical, I have to say. But except instead of being a pharmaceutical, it was all food. So the vegan diet was dramatically effective. The next question was, what happens when people follow it over the long term? So in 2009, in the American Journal of Clinical Nutrition, we published the long-term results, and what we found was that with the conventional diet, people tended to get back to where they started. But with the vegan diet, there was a little bit of give back, but they were still healthier after the follow-up period than they were at the beginning. Dr. Esselstyn is a surgeon, but as he will tell you, he would rather not have to operate on people at all. He'd rather get to the cause of their disease. And so what he tackled was heart disease. He brought in people who had existing heart disease, and, and I'm not talking about I've got a high cholesterol level, I'm at risk. These were people who had heart disease now. They were at risk of premature death, and many of them were on medications, a list as long as your arm. And what he said is, let's go to the cause. The cause is the cholesterol, the animal fat that's in meat, in dairy products, even fish. He threw those, threw those off the plate completely. So this was a completely vegan diet. And over time, he found that as people are getting away from those foods and they're enjoying the greens and the beans and the healthy vegan foods that have no cholesterol and no animal fat, something happened in their bodies. Not only was their cholesterol level falling, their blood pressure improving, their weight melting away, but the arteries were starting to open up again. Their chest pain melted away. And instead of being at risk of premature death, they were really living again. And Dr. Esselstyn showed that when people adhere to this program, they become just about bulletproof. So people may need medical treatments of all kinds, but treatment number one is a healthy diet. And that's what Dr. Esselstyn proved. I want to share with you the results of a really important research study. It was done by Dr. Dean Ornish. Now you know Dr. Ornish as the medical genius who showed that you can reverse heart disease through a program of lifestyle changes, including a healthy diet. Well, he then set his sights on prostate cancer. As you know, it's a big killer of men, particularly in their later years. So what Dr. Ornish did was he brought in a group of men, and half of them were in the control group, getting the treatments their doctors recommended. The other half began a completely vegan diet. It's good for your heart. Will it be good for cancer? Now, what he found was that among the people who were in the control group, about six of them couldn't wait anymore. They had to go ahead and have treatment before the study was over. I mean, they had to have surgery or they had to have radiation because their cancer was progressing too quickly. But in the vegan group, Nobody needed treatment in this year-long study because they were tracking their blood tests. Their PSA, prostate-specific antigen, showed that their cancer wasn't progressing. In fact, for them, their PSA levels actually dropped by about 4% overall over the course of a year. So it looks like a healthy plant-based diet isn't just great for your heart. It's also good for cancer prevention and for cancer survival.